We have a reality check tonight on ambulances at football games. An injured St. Michael player laid on the field last week for several agonizing minutes waiting for an ambulance while other games had emergency service on standby at the field. NBC 15's Corey Pippen is digging deeper into the situation. He is live tonight with more. Corey. Kim, I'm told this is rare and usually schools request an ambulance well in advance of any varsity football game. It was back to action on the gridiron as the St. Michael Catholic High Cardinals kicked off their second game in school history in Fairhope. Tonight, an ambulance was on standby, but that wasn't the case last Friday when a St. Michael's player was knocked unconscious for several minutes, eventually taken off in a stretcher. An ambulance arrived minutes later and the player was flown to the hospital. And my son had said he was in and out of consciousness. Terry Moak's son plays linebacker for the Cardinals. She was stunned that no ambulance was on site. We were always under the impression that there was always an ambulance at a varsity football game. Um, my son played for Spanish Fort when he was a freshman and it, they always have a uh, ambulance there. John Falk's grandson also plays for the Cardinals. He says team doctors and trainers jumped into action to help the player. They were out there. They took good care of him. It took a while to get the ambulance here. The situation is raising questions about the presence of ambulances at all local games. I reached out to MedStar EMS. I'm told usually ambulances are requested to be in place for varsity games and often done at least 24 hours in advance. According to MedStar, the school was unfamiliar with their guidelines for the request. We received a call from St. Michael's just kind of prior to, to kick off, so we sent the first available ambulance to that game. Just didn't have enough time to put together a dedicated ambulance to, to send to the event. Now, luckily, the player's injury was not permanent. Again, it's rare for a school not to have an ambulance on site during a varsity football game, but MedStar EMS says they're working to make sure it doesn't happen again. Reporting live in Baldwin County, I'm Corey Pippen, NBC 15.